good morning i welcome you all to the series of lectures on internal combustion engines today we are going to discuss about combustion chambers for uh, petrol engine that is si engine in the last class we have seen the design principles of si engine combustion chambers in this class we will see the types of combustion chambers right the so first of all we should uh, think about the t head combustion chamber the name itself indicate t head that, that that means uh, the geometry of the engine is like a t shaped so that's why we call it as a t head combustion chamber so the figure represents the t head combustion chamber so this is the wall and this is another wall maybe inlet wall or uh, exhaust wall they are like two walls and then you now <coughs> piston cylinder arrangement and camshaft connecting rod the cylinder head t head combustion chambers have two camshaft this is the greatest disadvantage because to run the valves because these two valves are not side by side but they are on the one side of the you know engine one wall is there and on the opposite side there is another valve is there so that Uh, these two valves are operated by two camshafts so two camshafts are needed so it is a greatest disadvantage and that too this design ensures more flame travel distance that means flame travel distance is very very high because for example if i place spark plug here it it has to go under you know it has to the flame has to travel from here to this point the flame travel distance is very very high and more detonation once the flame travel distance is more time taken for the flame to reach and portion is more so automatically the detonation occur because of the pre ignition and this is the disadvantages so that's why people gone for uh, l head type combustion chamber and it is also called as side wall combustion chamber so you if you look at the diagram it look like a l shape and the walls are at side so that's why we call it as side wall combustion chamber and because of the geometry you can call it as l head combustion chamber also here this is one wall actually the this is for example this is inlet wall the exhaust wall is also you know immediately after this one because for example if i if you observe from the top side you know the engine walls are like this. for example this is one wall and this is another wall from the front view we are looking only one wall because these two are coincide so this is the inlet wall and exhaust wall okay from the top view so that means both walls are operated by only one shaft because they are at the inline they are inline so that both the shafts can be operated by only one wall so this is advantage here walls are placed by side by side here walls are placed by side by side that means like this one cam shaft one cam shaft is sufficient so it is advantage then if you compare with the t head it is advantage because it is only one shaft one cam shaft less turbulence as air taking two right angles it is very difficult it is a very again disadvantage because the air has to take two two right angles one and second there are two right angles it has to say so the turbulence will become less the air one this is one and it is two so one right angle second right angle so there are two right angles so the turbulence is less large flame travel distance so this is also giving more travel uh, flame travel distance but when compared to this one this is giving less flame travel but this is all but that is also not sufficient because this engine also giving more flame travel distance so more chances to get a detonation as the flame travel distance is more automatically you will get the more detonation and the next uh, type of combustion chamber is the side wall combustion chamber is uh, you know what we call uh, the side wall combustion chamber is again uh, you know readjusted and uh, they designed a new they come with a new idea with a small modification so that we call it as ricardo turbulent head side turbulent head or side wall combustion chamber ricardo turbulent head side wall combustion chamber actually it is l head or side wall combustion chamber but a slight modification to increase the turbulence here you will get more turbulence because the shape ensures more turbulence it will give more amount of turbulence this design also ensures a more homogeneous mixture as the mixture clinging to the chamber walls that means clinging means uh, the moment it is going uh, along with the walls the uh, attached to the walls and move away from the walls and attaches so that it is clinging that means it is touches the all the time it is touching the wall so that you know you will get the design also ensures more homogeneous that means the moment it touches the uh, cylinder walls and move away from it and touches again so that means it is mixing so it when it is mixing automatically it ensures more homogeneous of course it is uh, it become uh, uh, slight, somewhat homogeneous in the carburetor itself by the time it enters and it is clinging to the cylinder walls so that it become more and more homogeneous that is the point second second point indicates that one third point less flame travel distance so less ch chance to get detonation that means when you compare with the uh, side wall combustion chamber there is a you know more turbulence here so 
so automatically when turbulence is increases and flame travel in distance also increases so this distance flame travel distance here also reduced flame travel distance reduced and turbulence increase so automatically the detonation get reduced detonation is reduced here so this is somewhat useful than earlier too the next one is uh, uh, the design is next gone for uh, eye head you know that means uh, earlier the uh, head is side uh, side wall head that means the walls are at the side are t head and uh, are ricardo turbulent head that means uh, earlier the walls are at the side that now the walls are at the top side that means at the head so that's why i call it as a eye head or overhead wall combustion chamber this eye head and overhead wall combustion chambers are two types one is bath type and second one is wedge type wedge type so because of this one what are the advantages you know less flame travel distance the tra flame travel distance is very very less high volumetric efficiency the volumetric efficiency is very very high because you know it having more uh, diameter of the inlet wall and it is directly uh, you know placed at the cylinder top of the piston so that it when, whenever the piston moves downward more suction happen more amount of air film should entering so automatically it give more volumetric efficiency next one is third point is less knocking as flame travel distance reduce automatically knocking reduces and uh, the projected area is less when you compare with this one the area projected area is very very less so this is the best uh, you know technique to reduce the knocking and to uh, reduce the flame travel distance and to increase the volumetric efficiency and uh, to decrease the knocking this is the best technique and uh, in the next in uh, the next uh, combustion chamber type of combustion chamber is f head combustion chamber in the f head combustion chamber you know the shape itself indicates the f it is something like f kind so less flame travel distance the flame travel distance is very very less and less detonation as this less flame travel distance means automatically less detonation the above diagram is the old and f head with uh, exhaust wall in head and inlet wall in the block so this inlet wall is in the block and the exhaust wall is in the head but the modern f head engines have reverse that means uh, inlet wall in the head the inlet wall is in the head and exhaust wall is in the see the exhaust wall in the block so that means the modern f head is reverse of old in type of uh, f head combustion chamber so this is having less detonation and less flame travel distance. this is the best compromise and nowadays uh, you know in you know, outer countries are using this kind of combustion chamber thank you very much